People are saying we should do the Pika challenge. I can't keep that up. They say Pika is very funny. I don't know what it does, but I know that Pika is um, the condition where you feel like you, sh you want to eat things that are not good to eat. So I'm assuming maybe like every room we complete, we eat a trinket or something? No? Um... When you get hit, maybe, you consume a trinket. Bro, when you get hit, you consume all trinkets. <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Hold on. You should not do this, but I'm doing it. Um, no, you, come on, man. You can't. Ringworm, come on. And I'll just take it seriously for two Dude, take it seriously for two seconds, please. Come on, dude. I am taking it seriously. I'm seriously gonna win easily because Ringworm is actually a huge buff. Look at how, look at the distance that my shots travel. How, how could this be bad? I'm not bad, I'm just drawn that way. Jessica Rabbit, who framed Roger Rabbit, 1991. I thought Apple of Sodom made it so that we couldn't pick up consumables and instead we got spiders. Swallow, ringworm, and I'll sub. Check this out. Look at that. One sub guaranteed. With full health, red flies become... Uh, red hearts become flies. Okay. Got it. Apparently it's from... I apologize, apparently... Who Framed Roger Rabbit is from um, 1988, not 1991. I apologize. Many people are asking me, did you use your VCR to freeze frame Jessica Rabbit? No. The last time, not to say anything of the first time. The last time that I uh, watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit, I was still too young to be horny. Now... On the X2 DVD, did I use Scene Select to watch the scene where Mystique comes into Wolverine's tent and then she tries to seduce him and then she's like, I can be whatever you want. And then she becomes like Lady Deathstrike and then she becomes Jean Grey. Maybe I rewound that one a couple of times. That's, that's more contemporary for me. But Jessica Rabbit? No, not so much. Bop. If you know, then you know. An honest man. <laughs> oh, dude, shot speed up. Just what we needed. <laughs> Honestly, I got respect for that one, dude. I mean, how could you not, right? How could you not? Streamers who are down bad. No, I was still like a little young uh, for, for the Lola Bunny stuff as well. I think that's more of like a Zoomer thing. Or maybe like if, if you're like, oh no, wait, the opposite. I'm like a, more of a, a Gen X thing. Or a, also a Zoomer thing, I think, now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, come on. CG only around these parts. Hand drawn? I don't think so, man. What do you take me for? I'm a zoomer. What the heck is Lola Bunny? It's what happens when capitalism meets horniness. You know? As a zoomer, you should be well aware of the context surrounding this. I'm one year younger than you. And I saw Space Jam in theaters, and Lola Bunny was Chef's Kiss. Okay, so you were born in 1989. You saw Space Jam in theaters. Space Jam came out in 1995. You were six years old, maximum, at the movie theater. You were getting horned up for Lola Bunny. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. I, it, it doesn't handle the, the simple back-of-the-napkin mathematics. 
Anybody born in 1988 or 1989 did not hit puberty until the first time they saw the Hit Me Baby One More Time music video. It's science. I lived through it. I, I have the battle scars. My god, he's right. <laughs> The more rooms you do, the more items you get. Absolutely. You know what I didn't know, though, until I was in college? Like, you know, girls have these conversations maybe, like, behind closed doors in high school. In college, you get a couple of apple teenies in you, and people start losing their inhibitions. I didn't know how many uh, people out there were horny for the Fox Robin Hood. The Disney Robin Hood Fox from, like, 1992 or whatever. I had no idea that that was, like, a, a thing that... I mean, I don't know if I'd say it's, like, a universal crush or whatever, but... Multiple people were like, I know, that fox made me feel weird things. And I was like, you're making me feel weird things right now. Like, I thought I knew these people. I, I thought, you know, we've broken bread together. Now you're talking about being horned up from a children's movie in 1992? Like... I, I have to admit, I wish I did not take Ringworm. <laughs> I've made a mistake. That's from the 60s? What? It's from 1973. That's crazy. I thought it came out in the 90s. Why am I being pink? Don't worry about it, Apollo. We were just saying how much I love Among Us and love to watch you play Among Us on Wednesday. Blessed Penny is pretty sick. You know what? Now that you, now that you put it that way and you say, look at how far your shots are traveling, you're not wrong. Now that I think about how far my shots travel, it's, uh... I feel a lot better about this run. No, what we were talking about is how, uh... I didn't realize until college and I started hearing it from people how many people had a crush on the fox from the Robin Hood movie. I, I didn't mention your name at all, for the record. Chat just picked that one up themselves. Hey, hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Hit me, please. Hit me. I'm telling you, dude, um, I bet if you Googled it, like, you would find, like, a community around it. I, I would personally guarantee it. He's right, I googled it, and the first result was why everyone has a crush on Disney's Robin Hood. I'm telling you, dude, I don't, I don't just make this stuff up. No, I, I said they had a crush on the Robin Hood, not that they wanted to be the Robin Hood. It's two different communities. Okay, I think we do want the spirit heart here. Gotta just prepare ourselves. Good to go. Anyway, that's all I got. <laughs> Same community? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's one of those things, you know, that all rectangles are... All, all squares are rectangles, not our, all rectangles are squares. Have you ever had a dream that you wanted to dream? You wanted to dream it so bad you could dream anything? I held R. I can't do it. It's too much. It's, even for me, that's too much. Hit me, please. Thank you. I mean, come on. That was that was insane. That was that was my one mercy restart. <laughs> I don't even know what these are, man. The twins, I'm seeing double. Four trinkets. Ice cube, stay frosty. Please hit me. You freeze some enemies. That seems pretty swell. Look at that. We got, we got two brother bobbies, too. What's the story behind that video? Because that's another great video, but I would, uh, you know, without context, you never know what you're getting into there, right? 
The one that's like, you ever have a dream that you dreamed that you wanted him to dream you so bad you could dream anything? I always thought that it was like an edited video, but apparently it's it's real. Take Whipworm? Absolutely not. I refuse. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. It's a wonderful video. The Canucks return got delayed again. Honestly, good. I was very proud of JT Miller for, like... I mean, I, I hate to say it like it sounds rude to him, but I was very proud of JT Miller for uh, using common sense and speaking his mind when he was like, hey, like, half of our team had COVID. Why are we expected to get ready to play a game for Friday? And everyone was like, wait a minute, you can just say that? You can just, like, go in an interview and, and say the truth? I didn't know. Nope, not today. Not today. Yeah, like, we're gonna miss the playoffs anyway. Like, the least you could do is just let them at least recuperate from COVID before they get the crap beat out of them by, like, Toronto and Edmonton and Winnipeg. Anyway, that's my hockey discussion. Now we're talking. This is now this is an item. Get some HP, head down to the next floor, can of corn and I'll be all right. Can of corn and I'll be all right. No, 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 no. Why are you taking damage? I'm realizing now that um Oh, now I get it. I'm realizing now um, why this run is so confusing? Fine, I'll take it. For some people. Um, I am covering up my trinkets, but every time I get hit, I suck up my trinkets. So I'm getting hit to, to deliberately suck up my trinkets. Um, okay now, this is Pog. Dude, the streams go by too fast. Repentance streams go by too fast. I can't believe there's only like an hour and 45 minutes left. It's I, I'm not being facetious either. Like my the last two or three weeks of streaming have gone have gone by so quickly. I now finally, after 12 years, understand why the average person on this website streams until they end up with like medically low blood sugar and has to go to the hospital. I used to think that I was just built different. I, I'm just, I'm finally playing like the first video game I guess I actually enjoy. For the first time ever, man. 24 hour streamathon? No, those days are, are behind me. So that, that's a name I've not heard in a long time. We, we leave that now for the people who were born in 1996 and later. More power to you. I'm, I'm on a new wave now. Best of luck to you. Yes, three hours is like... I, here's what I'm going to say, okay? I have long been a proponent of the idea that streaming burns a lot of calories. And I realized, like, after... Well, two different things. One is, once I started eating lunch, uh, I got a lot less hungry, which probably is not too surprising. And then the secondary thing is um, that it takes less calories to solo stream than it does to do the NLSS. It's, I don't think it's that streaming takes a lot of calories. I think it's just like arguing to, and, and joking takes a lot of calories. <laughs> I did read the other day that apparently, like, your brain represents 2 to 3% of your overall mass for most people, but it takes up 20% of the energy expenditure, or it represents 20% of your energy expenditure, which is pretty amazing to think of. And, you know, with streaming, you're really using... Sure, why not? Like, nothing but your brain? Does this seem fair to you? Now you're talking. 2% of the human body 
uses 30% of the calories. And the brain is in control of what we eat. Does this seem fair to you? The fingernails must receive some recompense from the brain. I'm losing the Bernie impression the more I get the the angry man on the New York sidewalk. <laughs> the closer I get to that, the further away I get from, from Bernie. You have no respect for the thermodynamics that represent the foundation of metabolism. You don't understand metabolic effects. Heavy pog? Heavy pog, not heavy pog. Not confirmed, not heavy pog. Um, I'm gonna be stupid, let's do this. Yum yum. Sunny D and rum, yum yum. I think I'll go and get me some. I'm thinking about my doorstop. When are you gonna ring it? When are you gonna ring it? How much money would it take for you to do a um, a, a 30 day subathon? The number probably exists, but it's not on my radar right now. But honestly, like I, I'm not saying I was early to the party, but you can hear for like from two months ago when I was talking about watching some other streamers on Twitch, and I, you know. I don't name names, but like sometimes I'm like, I watched a streamer that had a lot of viewers and I was like, I don't really get it. But I was very open about the fact that I, I watched Ludwig stream for the first time maybe two or three months ago. And I was like, I totally understand why uh, why this guy's popular. I understand why people watch him. He's a, he's a very high energy, entertaining streamer. You can tell he puts a lot of effort into his content as well. I totally get it. Kind of like you. Well, it's like me back in the day, where you know, occasionally I go off on a wave, and be a little bit, you know, like like very high energy, very acetylcholine driven. Then we we went through some time where we were like dopamine driven. Um, I think now, like honestly, is we got a little serotonin energy going on, which is totally fine. I think it's like a natural uh, evolution. You know, I think I'm a little like sleepier now, and it's. Uh, you know, we just you just roll with the punches on that one. Yeah, I'm more of like a put you in the couch sort of streamer now instead of like a heady high. Ready for the DMT arc. Oh, now we're talking. I, I will say I was walking around yesterday and there was a, a brilliant piece of graffiti I saw that said free DMT. And I was just like, I didn't even know they were locked up, man. I'm way behind the times. What the heck is that? We gotta come back for these. <laughs> More of a push you up against the wall kind of streamer. You really think I won't push you up against the couch? Indiana Jones and the Tale of the Crystal Key? No, I'm telling you, I, I'm not a, look, I'm not a, like a drug guy to begin with, except for, okay, you got me, caffeine, haha, <laughs> and alcohol, but like, apart from that, uh, and, uh, um, crocodile, okay, but apart from those three, you're, you're never gonna catch me on psychedelics, man. Who do you think I am, John McAfee? What the, uh, sure, I'll take it, but give me a second here. Have you heard my takes, man? I'm already, like, so far out there. I'm like, whoa, dude, you ever just think of, like, making a budget and then investing all of your supplemental income into a broad-based in index fund that tracks the entire global marketplace? Like, dude, a lot of people aren't ready for the stuff I say when I'm sober. Like, I'm not sure if I could afford to get any more, any, any crazier, dude. Should've just gone into the fire? Hmm. Shut up, Grandpa. I'm in Coinbase. I need to find a way to get hit. Give me a moment here. Tinted rock. In order to pick up the trinket, you should be forced to answer what it does in a multiple choice format. Well, um, that'll be the last 
trinket we take then? <laughs> From this point onwards. This is a fun challenge, though. Like, I, I get it. I am hip. I'm with it. I will say there's, like, you know, six or seven amazing trinkets. And we haven't seen too many of them so far, but still. In 2013, I was convinced that you were high all the time. I'm going to give you a little secret. And, it, you know, it's like a... I'm, I'm not... I guess it's not a self-report because I'm reporting you. But um, people who consume a lot of marijuana are always convinced that everybody that they enjoy is also partaking all the time. I don't know why the phenomenon is true, but like people who smoke a lot of weed are always like, this guy smokes weed. And I'm like, I really like, you know, no, like I got nothing against it, but I'm just like, this is just how I talk, man. This is my personality, like, off drugs. Called out. I'm just saying. <laughs> but as a street... Like, I don't even know what this does, dude, but we're definitely taking it. It's a uh, broken reroll your desk. Yeah, right, dude. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Chib? Oh, yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, do you hear Chibi has six Peronis? The, the guy's crazy. Don't take it? Too late, man. Too late. Too late. Too late. Look at that. It's too late. It's already been gotten. As a streamer, though, you get accused of doing, like, every drug. If you come into a stream and you have high energy or you happen to, like, sniff because you have allergies, people are like, Coke nose! And you're like, what are you talking about, man? You're, like... I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to play, like, you know, Mario Kart without being, like, harassed or something like that. This guy loves ibuprofen. I was losing it, like, um... I didn't realize, like, what percentage of, uh, I guess, planet Earth has done those drugs. <laughs> but, like, pe people, you know, like, six months ago, they would post, um... You know, like, an interview that Donald Trump Jr. did on, you know, Fox News or whatever. And everyone would be like, look at the way he's... Look at the way he's, like, biting his lips. I remember that. And I'm like, I don't know, maybe, but, like... I didn't... I had no idea that this is... Everybody's, like, so aware of what all the symptoms of, of narcotic use are. I must be naive, dude. I got, like, no clue at all. I'm just like, man, this guy sure is talking really fast. He's talking a lot faster than I do. You see the post-nasal drip? You, you see him? He's horking up a lung there. Yo, that, okay, that's very useful. Thank you. I had no idea. Dude, it preserves your eternal heart. That's pretty sick. What? Okay, Laos. The Laos in the Isaacorium. HP, please. Right, can't get items. All right, about that. I have no idea what's happening. I'm an ER doctor, so I hope I can recognize it. Okay, but you notwithstanding, I'm just like... I will say, I was at... I mean, maybe this speaks to my naivete, but it was also like a little earlier um, in the internet's lifespan, where, which is where I assume most people learn about this stuff. Uh, we went to a party in university, and then some guy that I had never met before was like, hey, we're gonna go do yayo in the bathroom. Do you want in? And I said, nah, I'm good. And at the time, I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up later and be like, that guy was trying to... It was like Tony Montana. I don't know what he was trying to do there. It is it's a Rimworld drug, but it's a it's slang for a for a real drug. Okay. So we don't have mom's box anymore. We have Book of the Dead. I'm assuming that happened because of GB bug. But I don't know if that's like a bad thing. I don't know. I still feel like pretty good here. 
Didn't you know what Yayo was because of GTA 3? Bro, I didn't play that much GTA 3, okay? I played a lot of Vice City. Keeper's Bargain. I don't see what could go wrong there. I meant Vice City. GTA 3 was all crank. I mean, I played a lot of Vice City. That, I'll, I'll admit. That's a great... I mean, that's probably why I like 1980s music so much. Oh, we have a new spacebar item again? That's probably why I still have a soft spot for the song I Ran by Flock of Seagulls. What am I doing? Didn't you know what it was because of Tony Yayo? Bro, you're actually like... Oh, every time we use our spacebar item, it changes. You're actually blowing my mind. Every time we take damage, it changes. Every time we do anything, it changes. Um, I only now realize that Tony Yayo is named after cocaine. I thought that was just the man's name. G swear on my life. Swear on my life, I thought that was his name. His name is Marvin? Well, I see why he changed it for a little bit of street cred, but... That'd be a good bit for a for a band, right? What if you were the band that all I'm Tony Yayo, yeah, and I'm Johnny Beer. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> We're G Unit. I'm Tim Coffee. That's a good trinket, okay. So I don't know, I'm I have no idea what's going on on this run. Um, we're just letting it, we're just letting it fly. Bill Tylenol. DJ Bill Tylenol. That's all I got. I mean, we could keep it going forever, but... When are we getting some DJ Funk in here? I mean, Chib is like... the This... You, you ever hear the expression, is better to burn out than fade away? I take the opposite position, but I understand the appeal when I watch Chib's stream. Like, I, I don't think you can maintain that kind of, uh... Look between the rooms. I don't think you can keep those kind of, uh... You know, habits going on stream without getting DMCA'd at some point. But, uh... The, the the sheer fervor carries a, it makes for compelling viewing every single time. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That is what I said. You don't have to be open for twelve hours every day when you run a Michelin starred restaurant. A lot of streamers are. Uh, you know, they gotta stream 12 hours a day because they, you know, might take until hour 11 before they make their first joke. Chib, on the other hand, it's like every course is a winner. Straight gas, 24-7. What's up with that rock in the item room? It's a little golden. Is gold? Is one like I'll just tell you straight up. Yo, that was sick. Um basically they're tinted rocks that are bad. They drop a a, a little coinage. That's about it. Occasionally, like, a lot of coinage, but usually just, like, a little coinage. What the... Okay, hold on. This is amazing. Great item. Pretty good. It's very solid. Hold that. Don't take that. Take that. Yeah, pretty good. Alright, solid. Pretty good. That seems like a good one to hold. Dude, your range is so high right now. You're definitely, like, on drugs. Look at how high your range is. Every time we use our space bar, we get a new space bar.
first episode of Queen's Gambit be like... <laughs> Good, good one, actually. I get. It. I understood that reference. I was still paying attention to the show in episode one. I have gulped my trinkets. Help me! I'm trapped. Help me get away from myself. What does electrified key do? I have. No, oh, it gives you a full charge. I thought you meant the trinket that was a cool-looking key, and the answer is I got no idea. I'm just I'm I'm just hoping they'll give me mom's knife and let me escape. I appear to be stuck with the uh, breath of life. Maybe when we go down to the next floor, it'll it'll alter the terms of the deal because this is not a very good uh, item for us to have or for anybody to have because it's bad. It's just unaffected by M. What's M? Hold it all the way to the bottom. Oh, I'm, oh, you know what? You're a genius. Look at this. What the? This is incredible intel. Help me. We do a little trolling? No, that wasn't trolling though, that was good. What happened to this run? Why why run used to be good, now bad? Because you spent all your money. Oh, I do have money equals power, that's true. I consider myself like I'm kind of like a rock in the ocean. Like I'm unaffected by the turbidity of the waves, but there are some times where I like, you know, be like, man, it sure is kind of like wavy out here. You know what I mean? Like the Zane, I, you know, I'm for it. Oh, that's pretty good. But, oh no. But on the other hand, I'm also like, you know, it sure do be a little wavy out, out there. Boy, it's sure wavy today. Oh, a ship. Yeah, oh, hey, look at that. There's a ship. Hey. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. What is up with this room? Why is, why is this room framed like it was... Made by A24. Okay, I'm gonna place a bomb down here and blow you up. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Good joke. Thank you. I know, dude, I know the Zoomers, they love the A24, baby. Who does? I mean, they make good movies. They, they, they have a certain, you know, idiosyncratic element to them, of course, but they make good movies. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, dude, A24, come on. NAR240. Yeah, they distributed knives out, uncut gems, hereditary, midsummer, etc. I will not jump yet. Now I will jump. Might as well hold it. I don't know, maybe we're gonna win? I don't know. We do have like a essentially zero HP. <laughs> How much? This is we're only twenty three minutes in. I actually thought we were like forty five minutes into this run. No mention of moonlight. It's because I've not seen moonlight yet. I only watch uh, best picture winners. Wait, it did win Best Picture, right? It did. Okay. Um, hold on. We're not. We're not stuck yet. Okay. We're not stuck. 
Because here's what we can do, okay? You can use that and get a better item. You can use this. You can use this. Just give it a second. As long as we get endlessly recharging items, just give it a just give it a second, man. Doctor's remote. Oh no. <laughs> saved, saved. Look at that. Undefeated technology. It is a little resinous, I'll admit, but I'm I'm glad they put a little out in there. I appreciate it. Plus, like, it's one of those situations where I'm like, I think if we held R, it would actually make our life easier, so... I think that, if anything, people can very much understand where I'm coming from on this one. Pop it. Extremely good. Dude, uh, no joke, we're gonna win this run. I, I'm surprised. I'm as surprised as anybody else, but... I think now we are gonna win. What the heck, dude? What is this blue key and why is it stinky? I've never seen the cartridge work this well. All that for a drop of blood. Now you're gonna lose? Wrong? Highly wrong? Excuse me, I thought... You were dead. You were behind an item. I thought you were dead. Now I have smelted my trinkets. You enter doors for free. However, you have to go through hush rooms. How many times have we gotten filigree feather, dude? You see the dodging, though? I mean, come on. If we're talking about classics, do my name get brought up? Does my name get brought up? Thank you for the money. Dude, we must have, like, a damage multiplier on top of money equals power. Like, that's... That's pretty sick. Full well worth it. The Hierophants. The Hierophants. That's not how you walk. Okay, I'm losing some focus. I think I'm, I'm at zero spark mouth right now. That's my problem. I've also been leaning forward in the gamer hunch for hours now. There you go. Pull your back back into the chair. Move your move your microphone back towards your mouth. I was all shrimped up. Chat, you want to play movie trivia? Name that movie. I will see you in another life when we are both cats. You don't want to play movie trivia? Okay, forget that I said that. Forget I said that. It's not from the movie Cats, but I could see why you would be confused. It's not from Dogs, either. It's, it's also not from Cats and Dogs, or Robin Hood, or Knives Out, or Terminator, or Falling Down, starring Michael Douglas, or The Burbs, or The Machinist. Pierre Day, I see that you have said Vanilla Sky. Pierre Day, congratulations, you've just won the first inaugural episode of Movie Trivia. It was indeed the movie called Vanilla Sky. Remake of the Spanish film Abra los Ojos, starring Tom Cruise, Penelope Cruz, Jason Cruz. Soundtrack done by Radio Cruz, directed by Cameron Cruz. Ted Cruz, yeah, Ted Cruz is in it. Dude, these don't even get me started on these red rooms. These these red rooms are like not, they're not good. They're just not good. They don't respect the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. Plus two, movie trivia bit is a good thing. Dude, that's the first time I've ever seen plus two. I'm very familiar with minus two. Minus two is when you make a bad joke, right? Did you know, according to Twitch stats, you're actually the 20th ranked streamer for most number of games streamed in 2021. Dude, I gotta be honest with you. Considering the amount of streamers out there, I know I've jokingly called myself number one. 20th is pretty good. Especially considering I've, I've been maining Isaac for a couple of weeks here. 
That's, that's quite high on the list, I would say. I'm proud of myself. I had to remind myself, like, I mean, whatever you want to stream, you want to stream, right? Like, it is what it is. Um, but I was like, man, I've been streaming a lot of repentance lately. Then I looked at, like, my spreadsheet, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure even in the throes of repentance mania, I've still been streaming a greater variety than, like, the average variety streamer. <laughs> It's trended down for a couple of weeks, don't get me wrong, but I'm like, I've, I've, you know, we played a lot of Overcooked last week, played some Pac-Man. I'm just trying to get you to step on the creep, please. And not once have we touched Among Us uh, recently or Grand Theft Auto role-playing. It's, it's, it's all holistic. Isaac, by the way. Isaac? Please. P please, pop out. At least we landed some creep there. Like, like this is miserable, dude. Why is this so slow? You know, damage is not amazing, but it's not that bad. I guess our rate of fire, we, we have taken a tears down pill. You got no damage. You're flat. Oh my god, mom's knife, please? That's pretty good. That's still pretty good. Who needs HP, man? I've never heard this song loop before. Yeah, more like money doesn't equal power. <laughs> Got him. I mean, we our damage gets really good the more money we get. Like, I think it's even better than uh, than the average. You're supposed to get like 0.04 percent. I think we get 0.05. It's a 25 percent in increase. That's pretty good, man. We also have two rotten babies. Hey, man, how about that? Can of corn and all that. Can of corn. Yeah, that's the problem, I think. We've got non-fungible tiers. If they could simply be funged, everything would be okay. You should funge those tiers? That's the problem, I can't. Once they're non-fungible, they can't be funged. This game doesn't have right-click, save image as. If they ever added it, though, like, oh man. Whole bleed. Gonna play canasta with your grandma. Then I'll make the whole blockchain my my slave. I'll make the whole blockchain my save. Incredible. Incredible. Chain reaction. You guys going in on the uh, the amazing orange NFTs? You can buy the first episode of The Amazing Orange remastered in 4K. You're not going in? All right, good. Less less competition for me. That means my bid's more likely to be accepted. Appreciate it. <laughs> His vid leaked. You can download it? No, it's not like that. Because you, you can't download owning it. Can you explain what an NFT is? An NFT is a digital certificate of ownership. I consider myself a man of faith and I regret my comments and that's Castellanos with a drive to deep left field. That'll be a home run and it's a 4-0 ball game. I don't know if I'll ever put on this headset again. Swallowed M80. I don't know what I did. Yeah, dude, don't even get me started, because, like, now you're reminding me of those companies that, like, named a star after you? Dude, are you telling me that was a scam the whole time? 
Because I'm straight up, there were like two years in a row where my grandma named a star after me. I'm going to be real cheesed off if, if any of you guys own like, you know, Lewenthal Epsilon 7. Because I was told that that was going to be named Ryan. What on earth have I... Oh my god. I'm going to throw... I'm actually going to throw up. Please leave. What have I done? Oh my god. It doesn't end after one room. I hate it. Why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you just give me nausea as a joke? I don't understand. What's... Wait, dude. Or it, hold on. Why isn't everything moving? Why am I seeing everything so clearly for the first time ever? <laughs> it's alright. I'll just beat the floor without looking at the screen. No problem. Wouldn't be the first time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It looks normal to me. Not all those who wander are lost. Do you ever consider that? Nope, me neither. Live, laugh, love. How about that can of corn? Number magnet? You missed a dime back there? I'll go back for it, but it must be top of the line. If it's a dime that's not top of the line, I'm not that interested. Oh, it's literally like right there. Hey, man, that's not a dime, by the way. Bet you feel silly. Or is it a... Bet you feel silly. You use the bomb when you have 26 keys. <laughs> you know? You may be right. I may be crazy. But I might just be the live streamer you're looking for. What the heck? I'm here to weigh in on the sparkling water debate. Put some respect on Topo Chico's name. I would be happy to put some respect on Topo Chico's name if they would make their way to Canada. I'm not, like, trying to put him on blast. I bet it's one of those things where, like, you know, things that are approved for... I know how this sounds, but, like, things that are, you know approved for consumption in America. They got to go through a different set of hoops in Canada. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's a, a, a lot of work for a, a relatively small market, but I, I oftentimes find myself unable to relate uh, as a result of the fact that we don't get all of those cool American or European food products on the regular. We do seem to have a pretty high overlap, in particular with the United Kingdom. A lot of foods that I thought were... Um, This is pretty sick. A lot of foods that I thought were Canadian turn out to actually be British in in origin. Uh, we should not be giving you uh, money. In Australia, we got nothing. Hey, come on, man. What would Hungry Jack say if they heard you just call them nothing? Yo, I was looking into Jollibee yesterday. Do you know that Jollibee owns every uh, food company on Earth. They own the Philippine version of every single food chain you can think of. And by that, I mean Burger King. They also own um, an American fast food chain called Smash Burger. I had no idea. Apparently, it's got 350 locations. It started in uh, Denver, Colorado. I also, because this is my first time ever um, hearing about Smash Burger. Uh, did you know they have the absolute worst logo in human history? It's actually, I, I think it's literally just the GameStop logo. It's just like, but, like, but nothing. Like, it, it unchanged. It's just like white smash red burger. That's it. No, I've never been to a smash burger. They haven't made it up here. They don't respect the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. The fool. The fool. 
As a kid, I got baited by Smashburger, and I thought it was a GameStop. Dude, really? I'm missing out. I've had them overrated. I trust Malph on this. Malph, he's got a very, like, he's got a burger palate. He knows what he likes, and I, and I trust him. Mind you, they'll, they'll probably never make their way over here anyway. No, I have, I have, as of yet, I have still not been to Jollibee. I have to, uh, I have to wait for them to open, and preferably not at the corner of Granville and Robson, but... We could just take a peek, I guess. Oh man. This is what I mean. I've never seen this room be anything other than garbage. Even though I read that it can be something other than garbage. I didn't know Jollibee also owns the coffee bean and tea leaf. That was news to me. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know if they own 100%, but they they are a... Major... Major major shareholder, for sure. I, I looked it up on Wikipedia yesterday. Thanks, Thorstop. Really appreciate it. Saved? Don't press the space bar, man. Don't press the space bar. Dude, we got some serious damages with these rotten babies, dude. What? Okay, so brimstone bombs are probably really good, but I don't want to mess with our money right now. I think instead... Let's just get Lil Delirium for literally no reason whatsoever. And th Dude, this is our final floor! Let's go! Don't put me in an error room or do it. It'll be funny. It's the boss fight. Dude, we're gonna win. I told you, it's so easy. Easy game. Take that. How's this for Smash Burger? Tainer to Zazel if you win. Can of corn, maybe? Can of corn if I win? I mean, we haven't played Tinted as Azel yet. We unlocked him like four days ago. I think I think I owe you a Tinted as Azel run. Look, I got nothing against Smash Burger, okay? I reserve I reserve my negativity for Bubbly. Also, I, many people have asked about the can of corn meme. I have no idea what it's from. I just know that it's from Mouth. I'm pretty sure it's from a TV show. I'm gonna guess The Simpsons. It's from The Longest Yard? Adam Sandler made this joke? It's from The Longest Yard. I got the fries that'll cross your eyes. Malf does love Adam Sandler. He won't stop talking about him. Every once in a while, I drive past the um, the house, well, the apartment complex that Happy Gilmore lived in, in the movie Happy Gilmore. Because it was filmed in Vancouver. And I think, you know, next time I go by, I'll take a photo. That could be a viral tweet. I'll, t I'll take a selfie of me in, and the baby in front of the apartment complex, and then I'll tweet it with the selfie. And then right next to that, I'll put a picture from the movie as well. And I'll be like, making my, I, I'm going to put something like, making my daily pilgrim, making my yearly pilgrimage to the apartment complex that Happy Gilmore lived at in the movie Happy Gilmore, open parentheses, 1995. Okay. Um, slash, marker, completed Pika run. 